Now let's go back and give our action button a name as well as giving the ability to add armor or weapons or some sort of effect, be it a positive or a negative health amount, when our story actions occur. So to get started, we're gonna to go to cctile.h and we're gonna add a few more properties to our tile object. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna add a property and we know this is gonna be an object and we wanna add a weapon, so we need to import that. And notice we're doing this in our header file, so ccweapon.h, and I can make a weapon. So now our tile objects will be able to have a weapon associated with them, and we know that we have 12 different tile objects, so we could, in theory, add 12 different weapons, one for each tile object. I'm gonna do the same thing with armor, so we're gonna do strong non-atomic, and I need to import my armor. And we can add the armor class here and we'll make the name armor. And finally, let's add an effect. So we're gonna do non-atomic int and we can say health effect. So this can be a positive or negative number and we'll decide what that is depending on the story. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update our factory. And again, I would mention, so we're gonna go to ccfactory.m. I would mention that your story might be different and the effects might be different, but try to use a weapon and armor and uh, some sort of health effect at least once um, in your tiles. So for the first one, we have a story here and it says, uh, do you want a blunted sword? And so this tells us that we probably need a weapon. So let's go ahead and create a weapon object. And we can even call this like blunted sword and we need to allocate some memory for it and initialize it. And we can say blunted sword.name is equal to blunt, blunted sword. So now we need to give our blunted sword a damage. So we can do blunted sword.damage. We can set its value equal to 12 because right now our fists do 10 damage. So I think our sword should do a little bit more, but it's still blunted, so it shouldn't do a ton of damage. And finally, we need to tell our tile one that it now has a weapon. So we can do tile one dot weapon is equal to blunted sword. And now we can go and update tile two. So here we're saying, do you want steel armor, which should be a hint that we need to create an armor object. So we can do CC armor, armor, or we can even call it steel armor. And we can say CC armor alec in it. And our steel armor needs a name, so we can say equals steel armor. And my steel armor needs a health benefit, so we can say dot health is equal to, and let's set it equal to eight. And now we need to update our tile to dot armor is equal to our steel armor. Now, we notice in the first one I ignored armor, and in the second one, I ignored weapon because in this story, I don't need a weapon. In this story, I don't need armor. So what I can do here is I can basically, I could write tile one dot wet armor is equal to nil. But if I don't set it, the default is nil. So it would be redundant to add that line of code. Let's go to our third tile and let's have a health benefit for this one. So we can say tile3.healthEffect is equal to, and I think stopping at the stock was really advantageous. We got some uh, crates of uh, supplies and they were really nice to us. So let's set it equal to 12. And this will give our character's health or increase it by 12 if they choose to do this action. So now we can go down we can go to tile4 and let's set this up. Well. In this story, we're saying parrots can be used as armor, so it means we need to create an armor object. And we'll say this is parrot armor. And we can allocate some space for it and initialize the object. And we can say parrot armor dot health is equal to, and let's just set this equal to 20. And we can say parrot armor dot name is equal to parrot armor. All right, you know, you can just call this parrot. And now let's go ahead and update tile five. So again, this is gonna be a weapon. So we can do CC weapon 
weapon. Uh, actually, let's see, again, make this explicit. So making these variable names explicit is really helpful, especially since we're having so many weapons and so many armors inside of this class, and specifically this method, we don't want any conflicts. So if I use weapon over and over again, this could cause some issues. So by saying pistol weapon, I know that it's very unlikely I'm going to create another pistol weapon, so I won't have any variable name conflicts. So we can see a CC weapon alloc init, and we can say pistol weapon dot name is equal to pistol, and we can say pistol weapon dot damage, and let's set it equal to 17. And now we can go ahead and update tile six, and we'll say that well. Jumping off this, uh, you know, plank was probably not too good for us, but we're gonna get away, okay? So we'll just remove our health by like 30. So we can say tile six dot health effect is equal to negative. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's use um, 22. I like that number a little bit better. So that seems very explicit. It feels like you lose 22 hit points when you jump off a pirate plank. Again, feel free to make these different if uh, you have a different feeling about the effect that this should have. Tile 7 will be a health effect, so we can say tile 7 not health effect, and let's say we get a bonus for helping out fighting these pirates, so let's give ourselves an 8 additional hit points. Tile 8 is about our Kraken, so we want to make sure we're very careful, and I think we lose a ton of hit points from this, so we can say tile 8 dot health effect, and let's set this equal to negative 46. I'm using kind of arbitrary numbers here, um, just so we can see some interesting things happen inside of our application. And we don't have to do the calculations because we'll write a method that will do all that processing for us. Tile 9 will also be a health effect, so we'll say tile 9 dot health effect. We'll set that equal to 20 because we got some treasure, so that hopefully will help us out. And let's go to tile 10. And we'll say health effect, and I think we lost this battle with the pirates, so let's set this equal to negative 15. And now we're on tile 11. And let's go ahead and set up a health effect for this. And I think people will definitely get greedy here, so let's trick them, and let's also lose some hit points here. So let's lose 7 hit points. We went too deep, we lost some time, it wasn't an advantageous trip. And finally, we'll get on tile 12 here. And tile 12, we're going to have to do some refactoring because we're going to have to set up this like fight system with our boss at the very end. But for now, we can just set an initial health effect equal to negative 15. Every time we attack the boss, he hits us back and we lose 15 hit points. There's one other thing we have to do to get uh, our factory fully updated. And that's we need some sort of button name, right? We don't want to just have action used over and over again. We want to have a name associated with this. So let's scroll back up and we're going to update tile one. And we're going to say tile one dot button or dot action button name. And we'll set this equal to uh, take sword, take the sword. And let's go to tile two and we'll say action button name. And we can say something like uh, take armor, tile three's button name, so action button name will be stop at the dock, and tile four we're going to do adopt parrot, so tile four dot action button name will be adopt parrot, and tile five will be use pistol, And tile six will be show no fear. And tile seven will be fight those scum. And tile eight will be abandoned ship. And tile 9 will be take treasure.
And tile 10 will be repel the invaders. And tile 11 will be swim deeper. And finally, for our tile 12, we'll just have fight. And notice that I kept all of our button names, our action button names, pretty small or pretty short because we don't have a ton of space to have text in our action button. We could enlarge our action button, and we might do if we want to make it appear a little bit bigger or have some more text on there in the future. But I purposely kept it pretty short because I want to make sure that that text fits in there.